When you're working with start and stop time on the shop floor, you will have time collectors and beneath that there's a setup determining what you are allowed to do and how it should work. And let me just run you through the most important fields on that setup. So from the mobile flow user setup, you can access the resource setup, which is the the person you log into and from there you have a time collector setup that looks like this. Most of, of the field in here are entered automatically when you download the app so it's, a, it's an out of the box setup that you shouldn't change but the stuff that you could be aware of is the auto start at open functionality meaning when you start a time collector it will start immediately. The auto pause functionality where you can automatically stop one operation when you start the next one. If you don't select it, you can work on multiple operation and you can do it per category code. So you could have, for instance, say that setup time is uh, automatically stopped, but uh, runtime is not, etc. Then you have the rounding precision, meaning when, you, when you're done with your time registration and it's creating the posting based on the uh, journal table and the posting setup in here, it will round with this uh, rounding precision in here. So you can set up, for instance, uh, every five minutes, meaning if you're working uh, half a minute, it will still add in five minutes. The rounding direction, of course, relates to that. Rounding precision is on your real-time stamp. So when you do start and stop time, the rounding precision here is to avoid, if you want to avoid milliseconds or seconds, and you want to lower the actual stamps that it creates. So when you do a, a stamp starting and stopping, there will be afterwards a rounding position, which uh, create an out rounding entry. But you could see that the user started exactly at this time within 10 seconds. This is on resource number SLO, which is me. If you're looking at the all of the resources on the blank resource up here, we determine the register flows, meaning when when you're actually doing a registration, this flow in the mobile flow setup determines what to do in this scenario to create an output journal, item journal of the type output and do the posting. So these are most in important fields in the time collector setup.